The Census Bureau plans to build on the experiences of the 2020 Census and identify further potential operational updates to develop the 2030 Census design. Early planning for the 2030 Census is now underway and includes conducting research and testing to inform the selection of the 2030 Census operational design. This design will have to address multiple factors, including constrained fiscal environment, budget uncertainties place significant pressure on funding available for the research, testing, design, and development work, rapidly changing use of technology. The rapid pace of change in the use of technology makes it challenging to plan for and adequately test the use of technologies before they become obsolete. Distrust in government. Concerns about the security and privacy of information given to the government impact response rates and pose difficulties in data collection. Declining response rates. Response rates for surveys and censuses have declined as people are overloaded with requests for information and concerned about privacy. Increasingly diverse population. The demographic and cultural makeup of the United States is increasing in complexity, requiring tailored outreach efforts to encourage response. Informal, complex living arrangements. Households are becoming more diverse and dynamic, making it a challenge to associate an identified person with a single location. A mobile population. The United States continues to be a highly mobile nation, which makes it more challenging to locate individuals and solicit their participation. The process of planning a census includes years of research and testing to prepare for the complex task of counting everyone in the United States. In the current design selection phase, we are currently in various stages of developing research projects that are grouped in five focus areas that we call enhancement areas, or EAs. These EAs help drive our vision of enhancing the science of census taking. They are based on our experiences and lessons learned from the 2020 census. This is different than the research motivation from recent decades, where our research agendas were more driven by the pursuit of cost savings. While it is always an important goal of the Census Bureau to increase efficiency and reduce the cost of the census, designing our research agenda around our experiences and lessons learned opens up new and exciting avenues of research. Let me now walk you through each of the EAs. Our first EA, EA1, Data Collection, is focused on enhancements to our data collection methods and operations, motivated by our need to address data quality issues and gaps. EA1 covers research related to identifying the best contact methods and data collection strategies for specific population groups, particularly our historically undercounted populations. We have projects aimed at improving our engagement and outreach to communities and historically undercounted populations. We will also continue to increase automation in our data collection operations to reduce respondent burden and improve efficiency. Our second EA, EA2, Modernize Group Quarters Enumeration, is focused on our work with group quarters, or GQs, which are places where people live or stay in a group living environment, such as a college dormitory or a nursing home. GQs were a particular challenge for us in the 2020 census due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on these populations, such as college students moving back home when the schools and dormitories closed. While GQ residents only represent a small proportion of the population, they are a unique population that must be handled with specialized methods and operations. As part of our research, we will build a good inventory of GQ facilities to ensure an accurate enumeration of the residents. We will also research ways to improve data collection methods for GQs, to improve data quality and reduce the burden on GQ facilities and residents. Our early efforts will build partnerships with the GQ community and their advocates. Our third EA, EA3, Integrate Data Collection and Processing in Real Time, focuses on the enormous task of processing all the data we collect for the decennial census. Historically, the design of the census has included a three to five month period after data collection to process the data from all operations to develop data products. This presented challenges during the 2020 census as data collection operations experienced significant delays and extensions due to the pandemic. Our research in this EA seeks to identify ways to conduct data processing in real time during data collection rather than waiting until the end. By doing our processing in real time, 
we will be able to identify and address data quality issues during data collection, while there are still more opportunities available to fix the issues. This research will streamline data processing activities to accelerate the development of data products. We will also research ways to enhance our reporting on progress throughout data collection and processing. Having all of the process data available during data collection creates the framework for making data-driven decisions about collection efforts and resources. Our fourth EA, EA4, Streamline Operational Support Infrastructure, involves research to improve the support infrastructure for the 2030 Census. While the COVID-19 pandemic created many challenges for the 2020 Census, it also highlighted opportunities for future planning. In particular, we learned that many activities can be done remotely, which is a valuable lesson as we look to the 2030 Census. This EA includes projects to re-envision the office structure and the use of automation for field operations and other respondent assistance activities. The 2020 Census experienced challenges when trying to hire the hundreds of thousands of people it takes to conduct and manage the Census operations and activities. This EA will research ways to streamline and automate recruiting, hiring, and payroll services to increase efficiency and facilitate large-scale staffing for our peak operations. Our final EA, EA5, Continuous Data Collection and Aggregation, is about building our administrative data resources and enumeration methods throughout the decade to optimize our enumeration operations at the end of the decade. One of the biggest successes of the 2020 Census was that we conducted most of our address list development work throughout the decade. This resulted in only having to go to the field to update about 35% of the addresses as opposed to 100% in previous censuses. This EA will research ways to apply a similar strategy to develop our administrative data resources and the methods for using those data to optimize the work at the end of the decade. This research will identify and procure new administrative records data to increase coverage for all populations. By using administrative data to enumerate some of the population during the 2030 census, we can devote more resources to ensuring that we count those populations that aren't well represented in administrative data, particularly the historically undercounted populations. This EA will establish the ability to continuously develop and assess our administrative data resources throughout the decade to identify the coverage and quality gaps. Let me walk you through the preliminary timeline of 2030 census planning. We're just starting to map out what the 2030 Census will look like. The operational design, communications plans, and a comprehensive timeline are not available yet, as we want to ensure we consider your ideas as we develop our plans. To give a general idea, you can see on this timeline that planning for the 2030 Census began in October 2018 with the early planning phase. This phase provided a foundational starting point for the 2030 Census. For three years, the Census Bureau examined the 2020 Census design to assess potential enhancements for the next decennial count. We are now in the design selection phase. This phase includes research, testing, and operational planning and design work to inform the selection of the initial 2030 Census operational design. This is also the ideal time to engage with the public to gather input related to 2030 research and planning specifically on how we can improve our operations for the 2030 Census. The input we receive will help us identify new research projects and enhance our existing projects, which will lead us to our initial design for the 2030 Census. The final planning phase is scheduled to start in 2025. After the initial operational design is developed, the Census Bureau will continue to develop our detailed operational plans and conduct tests as needed to ensure the Census produces quality, useful information for the nation. Additional details will be provided as these become available. I want to note that the 2030 design will outline the big picture plan for conducting the 2030 Census. To develop the design, we will factor in public feedback, new research, past Census experiences and lessons learned, evolving technology, and the changing world. To learn from the 2020 Census, we are doing a deep dive on 2020 Census data quality. This involves evaluating operational quality metrics, analyzing the results of the 2020 demographic analysis and post-enumeration survey, thoroughly reviewing our Census operations, and asking outside experts to independently review our work.